Well, well, well. We meet again. Kind of. Me, myself, I was one of those people that didn't ever really get the recluse until it was just about over with. I never got to experience the great glory days of the recluse and the mountaintop together, so Bungie decided to give the rest of us unlucky folks a second chance, at least in a little way, with the funnel web here. As you can see, it's a new weapon with the Witch Queen. This roll is decent. Not the best, but Accurize Rounds, Perpetual Motion, Range Finder, and the new Vest Stinger, the Origin Trait. Damaging an enemy with this weapon has a small chance to reload the magazine and increase movement speed while aiming down the sights. Bows receive faster draw speed and swords receive faster charge rate while this perk is active. But as you see right there on SMGs and auto rifles, it is a pretty good perk as it allows you to have as many shots as possible without reloading. I got a range master work on it, decided to go ahead and max that out and get as much range as possible. I'd imagine there are a couple other perks you could swap in here and get that range just a little bit higher but this is the best i've got let's take this bad boy into the crucible and see what we can do the new emblem from beating the legendary campaign is looking pretty nice i do have to say they absolutely killed it with that very difficult very rewarding very fun easily the best campaign they've made so props bunch let's see here be a good teammate like always and we're gonna help cap this zone off the rip Unlucky. I think I'm gonna stick to the safe route and play inside here with this SMG. I've learned my lessons. As you can see right there, it seems like it shoots pretty fast, but it's the same archetype as the multi mock. So it's not unknown territory completely i will say though the recoil control and everything else on this gun feels pretty nuts it is very smooth very easy to control you put some other perks on your armor or mods rather put those on there you can stack and have a pretty nice smg build and it's pretty simple Back out of there, out of there. Gotta get away from that thorn. Sorry about that. He looked he was just looking a little lost. Keep the pressure on. I missed the melee! No! Add a boy Mordecai. Of course. From the time the tether gets to you. Basically the same. He's going all the way around, huh? Good play, Z Sniper. That's why we have fire teams. Oof. Another. Take that kill, I'm sorry. Wow. Enemies almost won. We have 
have fire team. Respect, Hunter. We'll take a trade. Be I'm gonna you back off have completely by myself here. Hit him with the surprise attack. Take one of these zones back a little bit. Get a little bit of a lead. Zone B lost. Enemy has zone advantage. Sorry, I had a melee there. There's no way I was letting that kid hit fire me down with that pulse rifle. Oh my god! Wow! Nice! Five minutes remain. A strong start. Fight on! Take a zone back. This is wonderful. Strength in numbers, Guardian. Excellent. You triggered my trap card! Apes, apes everywhere. Thirty seconds remain. Finish them. Ten seconds. Bring it home, guardians. Don't be captured. You have advanced. Somehow managed to win. And an exotic from the crucible. You saw it here first. You're a wall. All right, so like I've been saying, if you get any of the funnel webs, no matter the roll, think a little bit before dismantling it because you can get some rolls that are better for Crucible, obviously, and then you can get some decent rolls for PvE if you like the SMG play in PvE. Adrenaline Junkie, Subsistence, got a little range on this one as well. And that's going to be all I have. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and comment, and I will catch you in the next one.